everyone. This is Diane McCluskey for Chow Bella. I'm here with my latest design team project using one of our new collections called Midnight Spell. Absolutely beautiful collection. Um, we have two paper pads. You know, one that has the patterns, one's the paper pad with the cutouts. Look how gorgeous. The colors are. I absolutely love the beautiful hues of blue, the gold, the swirls. Look at those grays and it has a, a crackle um, appearance to it. Patterns just pop right out at you. I can't wait to, to get into this and do some fussy cutting and Maybe create um, a layout using lots and lots of layers. Look at that. It's just so, so pretty. Uh, it even has hints of um, teal in it almost, like up in the corner. There's some of the papers, the, the one I used has kind of like a royal blue feel to it. Um, as you can see, um, so I decided to alter a wooden box and I also created a folio. It's a trifold folio that's a six by six. Um, so I just went to our local craft store and picked up a plain unfinished box. Brought it home and the first thing I did was used our rice papers and went all the way around the edges with um, this beautiful gold pattern. And when, you know, I what I did was I just took it and wrapped it right over the edge and it just fit perfectly. Um, they're so easy to work with. And, and again, we have some amazing patterns to use. I mean, uh, look at that. A part of me just wants to put it on some canvas you know, and call it a day, you know, it's just that pretty. Um, but I think uh, with this one, I'm gonna tear this apart. I, I might use it on an Easter project, maybe with some ceramics, something like that. Um, but look at that, just gorgeous. Now, as the base, um, I use two different um, types of card, uh, I mean, two different patterns, as you can see, of, um, of pattern paper. And um, then I did a lot of fussy cutting, uh, as you can see with all the different elements, the clocks and the cathedral windows. And of course we have Prince Charming and Cinderella dancing the night away. Um, and you know, I just, these butterflies are so delicate and to make them appear even more delicate, I used our six by six vellum. Um, and this is one of the sheets and I went ahead and you know fussy cut the base of the of the butterfly <clears throat> and then I fussy cut the vellum on top so it kind of gives it a little illusion of the butterflies in flight and then you know with most of my projects I like to add a few art stones and seed beads and a little bit of sparkle here and there just to give it a little bit more um, added dimension and then I like to um, go ahead and ink the edges. I used our Mecca Gold on this one. Just a beautiful color. And um, I also used a little bit of um, a gold wax, as you can see, around the edges as well, just to give it a little bit more of a pop. So the inside is, is um, I went ahead on the inside cover and I used the eight by eight pack and just trimmed it down just a little bit actually. Um, and that's what's so great about our papers. I mean, I, I utilized our 12 by 12, our eight by eight, and then our six by six. So um, there's, you know, so many projects you can make. And it's nice because obviously everything, all the designs coordinate, you know, and um, so I could just carry everything through. And that's what I did with the top of the of the folio as well. Um, it's very similar to the top of the box. I did, you know, the cathedral 
uh, windows again. This was cut from the 6x6 fussy cut pad. There's about three different layers under here and um, added my seed beads and a few few butterflies and um, this is layered with two pieces of pattern paper. So this, this um, trifold album was actually created with one piece of 110 pound cardstock in white and one piece of 65 pound cardstock in white and um, it's scored on this side so the 12 by 12 sheet is just cut in half and then I scored it um, two in inches and three inches and then nine inches and nine and three quarter inches so it's larger on this side so that it will come all the way over so when I tie it you know the ends will meet So when we open up, look at this. So this is our um, deluxe pearl paper. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but when you move it and the light catches it, it has this beautiful shine to it. Just, just fabulous. Here's one of the, the blue flowers. And again, just you can just see that shine and sparkle. And I just left it as it as it was. I didn't add anything to this. I just wanted to showcase that that beautiful paper um, on its own. Now on the inside flap, uh, this is a die cut um, that I used to create the flap. And on the 12 by 12 sheets, we have cards that we can cut apart. So went ahead and cut the card apart and put some pattern paper on the other side and this will be where a photo will go and this beautiful uh, circle here with this delicate lace was another die cut um, and it's actually a nesting die cut so there's a couple other pieces that go to it and then I went ahead and I fussy cut from the 6x6 six six pack the flowers and the butterflies and I made sure that I only I left you know a portion of that open so if I wanted to tuck in a sentiment or if I wanted to um, you know tuck in another picture I could do that there as well so you could also put journaling there now when we open up the center this is my favorite part so this is um, the pocket and it holds a lot of of little booklets but I want to show you first what I did here so these beautiful delicate images along here I used um, one of our coordinating stamping um, one of our coordinating stamp sets uh, this one's called dreams come true and I use this one here and it's very very delicate and um, I you know stamped in in a um, in a clear ink and embossed in gold and this one was stamped in a blue ink embossed with a clear powder so but again it gives it that little bit of uh, additional shine to it and it's just raised that image just slightly now here um, I once again did some fussy cutting with our 6x6 pack. This came from the 12x12 12 12 pack. I love the circles. Tried to, you know, bring the circles in, you know, to the whole, to tie everything into the, the center here. And then what I did here, um, so this is where I'm going to put my pictures on. So I did more card, cut up more cards and um, adhere them to cardstock <clears throat> and on the back you know I'll put my added I'll add my photos or you could put white paper back there and you could put um, your journaling on it and then I made just like I would a card um, but you know just a little little booklet to add a couple more photos and you could put some journaling on the back so that's three pieces tucked in now. Still plenty of room. And then we have the A4 pad that had a little, some of the smaller cards. Um, so went ahead and cut one of those apart. 
and did the same thing. I'll add some photos here. Maybe on the back, we'll do some journaling. And with this one, my little envelope, I um, again used the Pearl uh, Deluxe Paper. And this was a six by six sheet and just created this little envelope. And then I cut apart that little sentiment there um, and adhered to the front. Believe in your dreams. That's what uh, this whole collection is about. And then a um, little circle in the back once again to tie the circles into the whole design. And then when we pull out, there's another little cutout. They lived happily ever after. And then I can add another photo. Now, if you were to give this as a gift, you could probably put a gift card in here if you wanted to. Um, maybe, you know, take a chocolate bar and put some decorative paper around the chocolate bar and tuck it in so it all matches. Um, you know, because there's, again, there's, there's plenty of room. You could get some tags, put some tags in there. Now on the right side, I just mirrored what I did on the left. I used, um, again, the flap die cut with the card that I cut apart and then the pattern paper for a picture here and then the beautiful um, delicate lace circle with the fussy cut six by six pad again for that and the butterflies. And once again, enough space that I can tuck something in there if I wanted to. Um, this might be a little big, but you could also tuck a, you know, a circle in there too. I'm very happy how this, this turned out. Um, I hope that you will enjoy creating with this as much as I did. It's a beautiful collection. This is one of three new collections that we have out right now. Um, this is probably my favorite because Cinderella was my favorite fairy tale actually growing up. And so it was right up my alley. We also have one called Always and Forever that is for weddings and anniversaries. It has beautiful bride and groom images and gorgeous flowers. And um, then we have Wizard Academy. And so I think my next project, I'm going to use Wizard Academy. My daughter is a huge fan of um, Harry Potter. So I'm going to create something for her. Not sure what. Um, I also may do another trifold just for, for her as well as a little gift. Um, because I just loved how that trifold came together. Um, so, so stay tuned. There's more to come and, um, thanks for, for, for sticking with me and, um, I'll see you next time.